So the, the second pipe to demonstrate is a 90 degree pipe. Again, not too critical which, uh, which side of the foil you use, but um, I'll do it so that the shiny side of the foil is on the inside face of the pipe. So we fold, first fold somewhere close to the middle. And then the second fold just meets the foil in the middle there. Now we turn that around and keeping those two edges on the inside, we fold it right down the middle. Okay, so now we're ready to roll the pipe up. Uh, we're going to roll from this end, so the foil is folded and we've got a fold folded edge here. So we'll roll from this end and the surface of the pipe that will eventually be on the inside and exposed to the gases is this part here. So again we just take a pen or pencil, keep it all nice and tight, and roll that up. Now with this one there is no sort of, it doesn't close in it on itself. Options would be to use a bit of a Rizzler paper to, that you tear off and just put around there to seal the pipe or you can use a small amount, of, a small piece of foil or you can just crimp the pipe some, when, when you've taken, taken this out. So taking that out there, just crimping the pipe a little bit in the middle uh, and some people say that by doing that you also produce a small Ventura in this area here so that's an area where the gases accelerate past and you get greater accumulation of the residual crack or heroin that you'll eventually uh, be able to smoke from the inside of the pipe. So then when the pipe has been used, what you'll be able to do when all the other gear is gone is to open it up again like this. On this surface here there will be a residue of crack and or heroin that you'd be able to smoke. So. Uh, notice from the design here, as with the other one, as we open it back out, so the face that was on the inside of the pipe is here, so that is very usefully positioned in the middle of the tray rather than being on the edge where you'd be trying to catch it with a flame and risk burning it off.